Hello and welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson and one of the things I've been lacking for a long time was a good cleanup crew for my reef tank. So I've decided to rectify that. I went to Live Aquaria and bought the Build Your Own Reef Tank pack online and I built my own. I got it sent to me, so check out what I got. So here are the dwarf blue-legged hermit crabs. And these guys are awesome because they'll eat detritus and algae and I got like 50 of them in here. I think it's actually 48, but nears makes no difference. Um, they all look really healthy. They're all moving around. Um, they're a little smaller than I thought they might be, but I probably should have figured that out when they were called dwarf blue-legged hermit crabs. But anyways, I'm pretty excited to see what these guys will do. Hermit crabs are one of the few species that are supposed to think about eating cyanobacteria. Here are the asterisk snails. There's about 20 of them here and they all look like they're pretty healthy and happy and pretty good size. So I'm pretty happy with all of this. These guys are algae eaters and they should do a pretty good job taking care of some of the algae on the tank. I've got a few in the tank already and they've been very long lived. So I've got high hopes for these guys. I've heard rumors that these guys will attack the cyano, but I really doubt it. I've also picked up 30 Nasserus snails, and they'll hopefully do a nice job helping with all of this buildup on the sand bed. They'll help turn that over. There's also a white hermit crab in there who's pretty cool. You can kind of see him off to the left over there. But these guys were a little smaller than I was expecting, but still pretty inexpensive they're like seven bucks for ten so i can't complain too much so when i put the nasser snails in i caught this weird ass little thing in the sand bed it was trying to eat one of my nasser snails i have no idea what it is it's some weird worm though so i've got three serpent stars and three brittle stars i've been trying to put them in the tank in video and believe it or not, these guys are actually pretty quick. They'll get under a rock fast. Um, all but one of them are actually really good size. I had one brittle star that's pretty small, but overall at six bucks a piece, I am super happy with these guys. These guys are gonna hang out under the rocks, need all the detritus, and help keep that area of the tank a lot cleaner than it currently is. I also picked up this little long spine urchin. He's pretty cool, six bucks. And yes, I'm also worried about the black sand too. That's where that weird little worm thing was that tried to eat the Nasaria snail. So, I don't know, but he's gone now. But still, black sand usually means hydrogen sulfide, so I don't know, we'll see. Then I also got this green and white pincushion urchin. And he's actually really cool and will be an awesome algae eater. It's been about a week and a half that I've had the reef cleaner pack in the tank and the blue-legged dwarf hermit crabs absolutely eat cyanobacteria. When I first put them in, they all went to this Duncan's colony, which is absolutely 100% covered in cyano. And when I say all, I mean like 40 crabs climbed on this thing and just piled on and ate this thing completely clear of cyano. You can still see a little on there and that's actually from stuff that's blown back onto it. But by the time they got off, this thing was picked clean of cyano. I also had one little hermit crab move to this little spot right here. And he hung out here for days and he cleared this whole section of cyanobacteria, which is really awesome. So. In conclusion, I'm really happy with the reef cleaner pack, and it's probably something I should have invested in in a long time. My suggestion would be if you're thinking about getting a reef cleaner pack, you should start small on a new tank, but once you start getting to an older tank like I have, definitely put some money into this. This is something I've been putting off for years and really shouldn't have. The changes I've seen just in the last week have been dramatic, and I think that'll build over time. Um, I'm also considering placing another order here in the future to really double down and get this tank to where it needs to be. But 
everything's said and done, I'm happy with it. So thanks for watching this episode of Mile High Reefers, and I'll see you on the next one.